Breast cancer is the commonest cancer that affects women. One in seven women will be affected by breast cancer in their lifetime. In this video, we'll be hearing real life stories from those affected by breast cancer. My name is Georgia, I'm 27 years old. I checked my breasts in the shower on my birthday um, when I was washing myself and I found a golf sized lump and I knew that wasn't normal, it appeared overnight, so I saw my GP the following Monday, I was seen straight away, referred to the breast clinic because of the size of the lump, and I was diagnosed with stage three triple negative breast cancer. Hello, my name's Darlene, I'm 61, and what prompted me to get checked was an invitation from the National Screening Programme for a mammogram. I found a lump a very tiny lump um, and I'm ashamed to say it wasn't because I regularly checked my breasts at all it was just one day I felt a little bit uncomfortable and I started rubbing a particular area and found a lump that was small maybe the size of a pea but quite hard and I decided to act upon it and not leave it. I was invited for a routine mammogram. Um, I was having a shower and while I started showering, I found a lump. I have secondary breast cancer. The primary, I self-detected. I checked my breasts and I found that the texture of my breast had changed. And yep, yeah, it was breast cancer. The secondary, that was me just kind of feeling like there was a, I had a bit of a hunch that things weren't quite right. And um, I self-detected a couple of tumours on my chest wall. My mum was diagnosed with breast cancer 14 years ago. So I have been thinking about breast screening for a long time. I decided to ask my GP for a referral to start routine breast surveillance. The mammogram was normal, but the ultrasound was abnormal. Following a biopsy, I was diagnosed with a stage one, grade three, triple positive invasive breast cancer at age 41. I found a lump in the crease of my breast when I was 32. I wasn't overly worried about it because I didn't think it was likely to be cancer but it turned out it was. I've just recently been diagnosed with breast cancer. Fortunately for me, I just came by chance a little bit. Um, I had a fibroadenoma in my right breast a couple of years ago. I since had small kids, found that my breast had changed a little bit um, and wanted to have my breast checked. And in that mammogram, unfortunately, on my left breast, um, DCIS, ductal carcinoma in situ was found. Um, I'm extremely lucky, it had just become invasive in my breast. So yeah, I had no tumour, no nothing. Um, my breast didn't really look any different, or my left one didn't, my right breast maybe a little bit. Um, but yeah, so it came by, by chance. I found a lump. I found a very hard pea-sized lump in my right breast. And it, I knew it just didn't feel right, so I went to my GP. My prompt for being checked out was finding a sweet-sized lump uh, at the top of my left breast, and I was diagnosed with triple negative breast cancer. I was actually prompted to go for a routine mammogram by my menopause specialist, who reminded me that I was a year overdue, and I'd been sort of missed out because of COVID, and they were just catching up. So I hadn't actually noticed any symptoms at all. Um, when I went, I, they called me back and then found that I actually had um, two tumours, um, both invasive ductal, which I hadn't even been aware of, hadn't felt um, and couldn't even still feel, um, you know, once I even knew that they were there. I was called up for my second uh, routine mammogram at the age of 54 and that's when I discovered that I had breast cancer. Uh, I personally hadn't found any symptoms or signs myself, so I'm very glad that I did go for my mammogram. I would like to take this opportunity to thank the amazing women who were generous in sharing their stories. In the next video, I'll be asking them what treatments did they have and what did they find most challenging. So do hit the subscribe button if you don't want to miss that video. I'll see you in the next one.